Okay, we want to say Shalom once again. Brothers and sisters, we are the Hebrew Israelites. We come week in and week out to prophesy the downfall of America. Okay? Week in and week out to prophesy the destruction of America according to the Bible. Now it's time to wake up. Why? Because the main obligation is to let you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans realize who you are according to the Bible. Because you've been lied to by the so-called white man, or some may say Europeans, or Caucasian, he has lied to you, and we're trying to come out to edify you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans weekly to let you see it's time to rise up, man, as a nation of people, and time to keep the most high statutes and commands, okay? So before we get into the lesson on today, we're gonna be talking about an extra, extra tape on Hanukkah, the extra tape, okay? Uh, just a little bit of extra information that you need to understand what was, what, what kicked Hanukkah off, all right? What was, what was the gasoline to Hanukkah? And we gonna kick that off, but before we get into the lesson, we wanna say salutations to the, uh, first, first and foremost, double honors to the elders and the apostles. Salutations to the Othium that's preaching the truth and sincerity, and last but not least, all praises and glorification and due honor is to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, who the world calls God and Jesus Christ. This is to Egypt again with ship. I recommend all you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans to purchase this book. And to Egypt again with ships. We're not gonna go throughout the whole book, but we're gonna look at the last page concerning this introduction. Page 146. And to each begin with ships by Elijah J. Israel, man. It reads, the true Israelites are those blacks or Negroes who were sold into slavery in the Americas, into Europe, and throughout Africa and Asia. As mankind approaches the time of Yahweh's return, Israel as a nation will become more conscious of their identity because Back in the day, man, it wasn't on a, a, a worldwide scale who you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, uh, who you really are. Back in the day, it wasn't on a worldwide scale. It wasn't as international as it is today, okay? So now, we know it's getting close to the return of Yahweh Shai, who the world calls Jesus Christ. And it's time for you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans to come as a nation, man, okay? So it reads on in page 146. It states, Israel as a nation will become more conscious of their identity. However, coming into the knowledge of self is not the total sum of the matter. Israel must acknowledge their transgressions, repent, and return back to the Most High in spirit and truth. This is what the main purpose, this is what the main obligation is on today. That's why we come week in and week out to edify you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans to let you see your true history according to the Bible. Okay? Second Chronicles, chapter seven, verse 14. For it is written, if my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and heal their land. Because our, our land is not healed, man. Because it's talking about Jerusalem, the motherland, okay? The land of you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, because you are the true Israelites by bloodline, according to the prophecies of this Bible, man. So our land is not healed, okay? It's not healed. And this is why 2 Chronicles 7 and 14 says that the Most High's people, who are the Most High's people? The so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man. Or North, Central, and South America, or the Caribbean islands, and so forth, and other regions of the earth that is known as uh, the lost tribes of Israel, okay? That's what 2 Chronicles 7 and 14 states when it says, my people meaning the most high's chosen people, man. Not everybody in the earth, like they, like they love to teach you in America, okay? He says that his people 
pursuing second Chronicle 7 and 14. They got to they, they humble themselves and they got to pray and they must seek the most high. To seek his face. To seek his face means to get rooted in his word, man. To study in his word, to study his Bible. Okay? That's what it means to seek his face. And to turn from their wicked ways, blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You got to turn from this, this, un, this, this ungodliness, man, this sin and transgression and abomination in America, which is known as the Babylon the Great. You got to turn from this sin, man. And I'm going to tell you, like, Christmas doesn't have anything to do with the Bible. Christmas is sin. Christmas is of Satan. Christmas is of the devil because it doesn't have anything to do with the Bible. Okay? This is the main obligation. This is why we out here, man, to edify our people. Okay? It says so we must pray and seek the Most High's face and turn from the, our wicked ways. Then will he heal from heaven and forgive our sins and heal our land. Because our land is not here. We got a bunch of heathens and Gentiles that have trodden our land down. I'm going to get that. Let me get that for you on Luke, the 21st chapter. This is Luke, the 21st chapter. Okay? Beginning with the 20th verse. And it reads, And when ye shall see Jerusalem compassed with armies, then know that the desolation thereof is not. So Yahweh said, who the world knows Jesus Christ, the black Messiah, he was telling the Jews, he said, when you see Jerusalem compassed with armies. Now what are these armies? Who are these nations of people? It's speaking about the Italians. It's speaking about the Roman soldiers. Okay? It says, Luke 21, 20, when you shall see Jerusalem compassed with armies, then know that the, then know that the desolation thereof is not. So Yahweh said, who the world calls Christ, was telling the Jews, when you see Jerusalem surrounded with these Roman soldiers, these Italians, he said, know that the destruction is near. Why? Because the Romans was coming in to tear down Jerusalem and destroy the temple, man. So Yahweh said, who the world calls Jesus Christ, he gave his people hands up. He gave his people a heads up to get out of Judea before the Roman soldiers came in to infiltrate it and tear it down. Luke 21, verse 21. Then let them which are in, the, in Judea flee to the mountains, and let them which in the midst of it depart out, and let not them that are in the countries enter into it. So he, this is what the Son of God was telling those Jews. He said, let them which are in Judea. Now, Judea is the Greek word for, uh, for Judah, okay? Judea is located in Jerusalem, okay? The, where the Jews resided, the real Jews, the black Jews, okay? He tells those Jews in Luke 21, 21, he said, flee to the mountains. What mountains? The Atlas Mountains and what they were called the interiors of Africa on the Ivory Coast, the West Coast of Africa, which is known as the Atlas Mountains, okay? Around the region of Morocco, you got Sierra Leone, Timbuktu, Liberia, and so forth on the West Coast. That's what he's talking about in Luke 21. He says, the real Jews, the black Jews, you so-called Negroes, okay, that don't know who you are according to the Bible, this is what he's telling you, okay? He says, let those in Judea flee to the mountains. Why? Because they had to get up out of Jerusalem because the Roman soldiers was coming in to infiltrate it and to destroy the Jews. So he said, let those in Judea flee to the mountains. Basically what he was talking about, go to Africa, man. Why would he tell the Jews to flee into Africa? Because they can blend in among the dark nations, among the Hamites, the Hamites, okay? The Hamites, man. Uh, Noah had three boys. Ham, Shem, and Japheth. They were all black, melanated people. So the original Hamites, the Egyptians, 
the Hamites, such as the uh, Ethiopians, the, the Philistines, the Canaanites, the Libyans, North Africans, and so forth, they were melanated people. And this is exactly why the Son of God, Yahweh Shah, who the world knows Jesus Christ, tells those Jews at Luke 21, 21 to flee into the mountains. That means to go to the west coast of Africa, man. Not just the west coast, but just go to Africa, period. Because they can blend in among the Hermetic tribes, man. Because the Jews are Semitic, which came from the bloodline of Shem. Ham and Shem was both melanated people. So the Jews were dark-skinned, melanated people, like you so-called Negroes today, and so forth. And, 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 and so as well was the Hamites, the Egyptians. So they can blend in among those dark nations to keep themselves hidden from the Romans, which are the modern-day Edomites, the Caucasians, the Europeans, or some may say the so-called white men, okay? St. Luke, then that which are in Judea flee to the mountain. Let them which are in the midst of it depart out. He said, if you in Judea, he told the Jews to get out. Okay? Then he said, and let not them that are in the countries enter in too. He said, if you're not living in Judea, don't bother by trying to move in because destruction was coming on Judea, man. Okay? That's what he's talking about. Luke 21, 22, for these be the days of vengeance, that all these things which are written may be fulfilled. And that's, that's pursuing Deuteronomy 28, because this, this prophetic, it was written in the 28th chapter of Deuteronomy by Moses. Luke 21, 23, but woe unto them that are with child, and to them that give suck in those days. Woe unto the mothers that have children, because it's going to be very difficult to flee and migrate. For thou shalt be great distress in the land and wrath upon the people. It was great distress in the land because General Vespasian and his son Titus, man, slaughtered thousands of Jews, slaughtered thousands of uh, the, the real Jews, the black Jews. Luke 21, 24, and they shall fall by the edge of the sword and shall be led away captive into all nations. So you, so you real Jews, the so-called Negroes, who they love to call the American blacks, you fell by the edge of the sword, man, in 7 AD. When the Italians came in and sliced you up, okay? When, when the Kittimites, the Kittimites, Cyprus, the Italians came in and hacked you Israelites up, man. You so-called Negroes, you the real Jews. And what happened to you in 7 AD? You fell by the edge of the sword. This is Luke 21, 24. And shall be led away captive into all nations. And that's why you got the so-called Negroes, just the uh, American blacks, in all nations, because you were led captive in all nations. How? Oh, slavery, man. That's why if you want to know who the children of Israel, all you got to do is research slavery. Do your own work on slavery. Because the only people that have been children of slavery and bondage are you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man. The people on this side right here. You are children of the bondage. You still a slave in America today. You so-called black, Hispanic, and Native Americans. You are a slave under the so-called white man in the government. Okay? That's who, that's who own the government. You don't own the government, so-called black man, the so-called black woman. You don't own nothing. You a slave to the system, man. Okay? That's how we know we are the Israelites. We are the true Jews. Luke 21, 24. And shall be led away captive into our nations. And Jerusalem shall be trodden down of the Gentiles. So, when you look at today, when you look at Palestine, Israel today, Palestine, Israel. Who lives in Palestine, Israel? Those Israelis, man. That Lord to call himself Khazar. That Lord to call himself Jewish. They not the real Jew. You so-called blacks are the real Jews. But the white man have told you that you African-American. How can you be African-American? That's two countries. That's not even a nation, man. 
They have told you that you Negroes. Negro is a color. Negro means black. So you not no African American. You are the true Jews that the Bible speaks so. But you've been lied to in America. And we gotta clear this up, man. Okay? We gonna clear this up today. Because we gonna show you who you really are according to this Bible, man. Because a lot of you Jakes like to come against the Bible and say that the Bible is not a true book. But I'm gonna prove to you on it today. The so-called Negroes in America are the true Jews of this Bible. And you've been taught that you everything but a child of God. And it's time to clear that up, man. Luke 21, 24. It says that the real Jews, the real Jews, the true Jews, the black Jews, not Jewish, not Jewish people, the black Jews will be led away captive into all nations. And Jerusalem shall be trodden down by the Gentiles. So who in our land today? Gentiles, man. That's who in the land today. That's who occupy the land of Israel. The Khazars, the Israelis, that Lord of God himself, Jews, they not the real Jews. You so-called blacks are the real Jews. You so-called blacks are the chosen people of God. But you've been taught that you nobody in America. You've been taught you just the old Negro in America. But we gonna show you who the devil that the Bible speaks of. You thinking the devil got horns. You thinking the devil got a tail and a pitchfork. We gonna show you who the devil is, okay? The so-called white man, the so-called Caucasian, the so-called European. That's the devil that the Bible speaks of.